and I'm just gonna have to slow her down and get around it and throw it out to the gutter and let it come back. You know, it's not my best shot, but it's honest work. What's up guys, Brunsnick's back, and it's time to introduce a new Tundra for New Year, this time with the Tundra Blue Fire. Now the Blue Fire gets an update with DR6 cover stock with HK22, a class above the DR5. So original same core, so I can't wait to see what this one does on the lanes for me with Specto running, of course. But before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's see what this Tundra Fire does for me on the lanes. All right, let's talk. Tundra Blue Fire. So, pretty popular ball. That original Tundra Fire was that kind of entry level, mid range ball, and not a whole lot of differential. Has the original core with the Tundra with that higher RG of 2.56 and a lower diff of 030. So, now we got a little bit stronger cover with this ball as opposed to the first one, which is going to hopefully give us a little bit stronger reaction. Has the same surface on it, compound. So we're going to get on the lanes. I got Specto running. I'm going to start it out, move it in. We're going to see if we get a little bit more strength out of this Tundra Fire. Blue Fire, I should say. So we'll start on 15. We'll play it straighter. So this ball was actually one of the ones that I recommend a lot when someone's maybe a little bit more rev dominant, maybe you don't have a lot of speed, you know, that maybe a senior player, someone wants a, a good ball that's not going to be overly aggressive. Overly aggressive is not what you get out of Tundra Fires. So with the Blue Fire, a little bit stronger cover, DR6, DR5, and we're bowling on crown jewel pattern. It's my typical house pattern, 43 feet. Not a whole lot to it. Big bunch of oil in the middle. Not a lot of oil to the outside. So that first shot, playing straight, went pretty straight. So we'll try it again. Now that I have an idea of what the ball does, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of length out of this ball and not have to try to overthrow it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, bad shot. Where'd that get to, one board? Not great. That's why we call spray and pray. You send it out too far wide and all of a sudden you're religious. Spray and pray, get your shirt on inside bowl and I really appreciate the support there. All right, we gotta throw at least one strike in this zone. Well, actually, one good strike in this zone where I'm not throwing it out the window and actually gets through the pins nice. So let's make that this shot. There we go. I did it, on cue even. So this ball is giving me some old school vibes. It looks like, for those that remember the old Super Beast from the late 90s, maybe early 2000s, with that blue pearl and that orange logo, it looked pretty distinguished. That's what I'm seeing from this ball. Kind of reminds me of that, and I can tell you in juniors, I struck a whole lot with that ball. All right, we're moving five. I'll be 20 left now. I'm sorry, on 20, five left. Jumping ahead now, aren't I? All right, so. Here we go, small swing. This should be a good spot for it. Send the pins up and cut through the rack. Hey, I'm pretty sure in the first video, I called the Tundra Fire gifted. As in, it performed above its price point. You know, you get HK22 in this range and you don't see a lot of bowling balls with lower diff and that HK22 technology so it uh, the track line is top to bottom one of the best in bowling all right let's try that again because that looked pretty good but yeah with theorems stealths all that stuff now cipher sensor fire that's hooking that flush it's hooking yeah, it's uh, from top to bottom, you know, we see a lot of honor scores come through the brand pages. You know, I handle all that stuff and compared to Hammer, I mean, everybody throws Hammer. But I would say the next most popular for honor scores is Track. All right, we're going to move another five. 
it pretty much took that zone and said, what else you got? Because the ball just did what it did and it was awesome. So move, now another five or 10 left. 25 with my feet. Little swing here, let's do it. A little slower, but it's out wide. Got it. Wow. That ball had another gear. That ball got to the spot. It did slow down. I was like, okay, it's gonna go. And I thought maybe, you know, kick 10, whatever, but no, dead flush, almost too flush, almost high. But I'm seeing it. I think this ball is just gonna be a little bit stronger and a little bit sooner on the lane as compared to the original Tundra Fire. So before you ask me, hey, Nick, how does this ball compare to the original Tundra Fire? That's my answer. A little stronger, a little smoother. All right, one more shot in here. And 25. It's in the oil longer. What do you got? Nice. Recovery is good. I think that was the real first tr true test of that ball is getting it in the oil, seeing can it recover off that spot? And the answer is hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah in the chat? As they say it in my cousin Vinny, I'm done with that guy. So let's move another five. We're gonna be standing on 30 now. And now I think I'm gonna to have to bring the speed down. Pretty sure I'm gonna to have to do that. Let's see. Oh, nine and a wiggle. Yeah, I brought the speed down. As you send that ball away from the pocket, that's where the lack of differential is showing up now. So with that 030s diff, you don't have a lot of flare in this ball. You know, it flares somewhat decent amount, but we're not talking a lot. You know, we got like two to three inches of flare. The flare rings are pretty tight. It just doesn't make that corner. You'd have to be bowling on a lot drier condition. You know, we're bowling on a fresh pattern. You know, a couple games have been bowled on it, but not that many, not enough to break them down. Let's try again. That one definitely got through the front. And I'm just gonna have to slow her down. And get around it and throw it out to the gutter. And let it come back. You know, it's not my best shot, but it's honest work. So, so far this ball's looking pretty phenomenal. You know, for the price point where it's at, you get that HK22 cover, you get that nice core, and you're getting a lot of performance for the money. Let's throw, uh, let's move, let's keep moving. I think that's two shots there. We uh, left a nine and a wiggle and we had a pretty flush strike. So let's move it all the way. We'll be 20 left now. 35 with my feet for the big wheel. So I'm just gonna try to get around the side of it and send it, bend it. That's coming back. Ah. I thought I had enough on it, but I'm not in that 400 RPM club like all my friends are. All the other YouTubers are way over 400, not me, not me. Another, another decade before, yeah, maybe. I thought I had that. So obviously the ball's gonna struggle a little bit, covering all those boards and a little bit of heavy oil there in the middle. But I am determined. I think I had it right. I thought I had it right. Maybe I just get it to the dry a pinch sooner. I knew I could do it. All right, so obviously it can strike from that zone. Do I want to strike from that zone? Not really. I'm going to move it back right. I'm going to move it back where I'm five left from my original spot, standing on 20. I think that was a great spot to be in. That one felt the most. Easy to strike, effortless, so I'm gonna go back there. And then we'll wrap up this video. But having a lot of fun throwing Tundra Fire, Blue Fire. Let's end with a bang. And that'll do it. Great shot to finish out. The versatility on this ball is actually, like I said, above its pay grade. 
you actually get a lot more ball for the performance, or the price performance you're getting. So that's it for the Tundra Blue Fire. Step up with a stronger cover for the new year, 2024. Check out the merch on Inside Bowling. I really appreciate all the support you guys do for me and the channel. Talk to you guys soon. Leave me a comment. I read them all, respond to most. But until then, please subscribe. Talk to you soon.